YouTube, LJ Draco here. Yes, as you can tell by the title again, this is the third and final for now 3D printed and customly hand painted statue that I bought from the guy. Um, and as, as you've seen in my Blu ray and 3D printed collectible video, I showed these very briefly. These are the three videos that just show these individually so you get the full detail from them. Uh, with the past two, I've compared the movies or the game to the statue, but. I'm not going to do that because I'm pretty sure that this statue is actually done from a comic version of the character. So I'm going to show you, in comparison, the Mezco movie figure that I have compared to the comic 3D printed statue. So this is um, actually this was a figure that I was customizing at the time, so it has got some few paint defects. But this is the Mezco uh, Hellboy figure. You know, uh, as so if you look closely on him. That fist is way too dark. It's his fist in the film is not that dark. It's roughly the same color as him, so I don't see why they've made it so dark compared to his natural skin tone. Uh, plus, the abdomen bit is extremely small. Um, like it's quite tiny. The face they got a really good job on, but I mean the detailing in the fist as well. They've done a good job. But I just, I feel like this is, it's okay as a movie collectible, but, however, this is the 3D printed um, Hellboy statue. I'm trying to, I can't get it all in. <laughs> so, let's see, fine. Let me uh, adjust the camera a bit, there we go. Right, so yeah, as you can see, um, it's not, well, it's it's still quite tall. I mean, this is an eight-inch figure, so this must be standing at, not including the horns, must be standing at about ten inches. Um, yes, yeah, so I'll move him out of the way for a second, while I just show you the nice detailing on the guy. So I'm going to bring the camera in closer. It's quite nice, actually. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so let's look at the horns face and then go down as we. Uh, talk about this sorry if there's any mic interference and stuff it's just trying to get the camera angle right to do this is it's a bit tricky all right there we go so yeah so looking at the face i mean you can see the really good detailing and work he's put into the to the cigar to the teeth to the eyes the shadowing of the face uh the horns were nicely sanded and very nicely painted bring those closer for you to have a look at yep i mean that's really good work done on those um yeah, so look at that. Really incredibly done. And then if you also look at the torso, you can see the nice shadowing he's did on the muscle definition, which is also amazing. Um, on the fist, it's like a slightly darker but similar color tone to the body, but it, it looks really nice, really well done. Then you've got the back uh, of the jacket and then the jacket itself, which is really nicely done. You've got the belt, the gloved hand, and, and look at this. You've got to look at this for a second. I'll wait for it to zoom in on it. Look at that. Look, he's even put silver on, on the, the back trigger, um, the hammer. There. Silver for certain chambers. He's even put a nice, it's like a, a gunmetal grey with a nice silver strip in the middle. But he's even detailed the front of the gun. Which I don't think I'll be able to get it to. Let's see, is there a way to do this? No, unfortunately I can't. But there's really nice detailing done there. The trigger, and then lift up. So more definition on the belt, which is cool. The legs, the hoof feet, which is why I think it's based on the comic. You know, I, I think, like, this is just a really, really nicely done piece as well. Like I said, this is one that he's done previously before. But overall, it just looks incredible. So now, yeah, I mean, <laughs> don't get me wrong, I like figures. Figures are cool, but sometimes when you, when you want, just, figures can be hard to display sometimes. Like, sometimes as display pieces, they can be very tricky to do. But, you know, I mean, 
that statue just looks amazing. And even though it's not really based off the movie Hellboy, I, I really preferred that look. I mean, I like Ron Perlman in the movie, but for a display piece, like, if, if you had a choice of displaying either one of these, I'm pretty sure you would display this. That looks like the definition of Hellboy compared to that. You know, I said it, it's kind of it's kind of annoying to, to yeah, I mean, <laughs> I just, I really like that and I really do prefer that as a displaying piece. This is a nice piece to use for like slow motion stuff or just in the collection of figures, but for displaying for other people to see and admire, this, this definitely wins. So yeah, that is it. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video and previous videos, don't forget to strike the like for future videos. And if you're new to my channel and only seen a couple of my videos, click that subscribe button down below. I surely appreciate it. Anyway, take care, you wonderful, wonderful people. And I shall see you next time.